Okay, let's uh, see how to use the SQL Server Migration Assistant for Access. First of all, I'm going to go start up Access and uh, verify that in the temp directory I have this database one ACCDB, nice creative name. There's a single table in there called people, uh, and within there I've got a couple of rows of data, so that's there. And uh, you want to go find the SQL Server Migration Assistant for Access. And uh, make sure that you're downloading uh, the version uh, 5.2 from 2012 and uh, download and install that. And then you'll also uh, possibly need uh, the Access uh, Database Engine 2010 redistributable, uh, that guy, and download that. And uh, you probably just need the 32-bit version unless you're running a 64-bit version of Office. Uh, grab that one. I download that and install it. And then, once you've installed both of those, you can go run the SQL Server uh, Migration Assistant. And notice there's a SQL Server Migration Assistant for Access, uh, and then there's also a 32-bit version of that. And uh, you most likely want to run the 32-bit version of it. And a wizard will kick off. It's going to have you create a new SSMA project, uh, and those projects are going to go under your, your Documents folder. Uh, there will be an uh, SSMA projects directory, and that's where they go by default. Uh, but I'll go on to next. I'm going to let it just default the name for me. Uh, but make sure on this page that you pick the target uh, database version that you're going to for SQL. And uh, we're trying to push up to SQL Azure, so I'll pick that and go on to next. And uh, I'm going to go add in the access database that I have out there in the temp directory. There's that database one.accdb that I just showed you in Access 2013 and go into next. And now I need to know uh, what tables and queries, et cetera, it is uh, that I want to export from Access. There's that people table, so that's going to be the one I grab. And now it wants to know about my Azure SQL database that I want to import into. So I'm going to go open up my Azure SQL Management Portal. under SQL databases over here on the side. Uh, I've got a bunch of existing databases, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new one here to pull into. And uh, we'll just cre quick create one here. I'm going to call it the uh, SSMA demo. And uh, you just need to know which server it's going to go on to, or if you want to, you can make a new server here. Just make sure that you know uh, a valid set of credentials for whatever server it is that you pick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pick this one. Uh, really. For me, in my demo, it doesn't matter which one I pick, but make sure that you pick the appropriate Azure SQL instance and one to which you know you have administrative privileges. So I'm going to let it go ahead and create that database. And so that's there. It's SSMA demo. Uh, and if I drill into that, then on its dashboard, I ought to be able to get uh, the qu fully qualified server name uh, for that database. And back over here in the Azure SQL Mi uh, Migration Assistant, oh, actually, I don't need the fully qualified name. I just need the server name. So I can get the server name and paste that in. Then it wants to know the database uh, that I want to connect up to. Uh, and that was called the uh, SSMA demo. And for the username down here, I'm going to log in with the credentials that I know are valid for that server. All right. Back, yeah, well, let me drop down there, but okay, next. As long as I got my credentials in correctly, it should work. So uh, if you have access ac applications uh, that you want to connect up to, uh, uh, linking modifies your access database so that uh, your queries, et cetera, will perform against the database on the back end here. I'm not going to link tables. Uh, that, that would let you link up your forms and things like that. But in Access 2013, as far as I understand it, Access Database Projects uh, are not uh, functional there. But uh, I'm going to go on to Next. And uh, on the, OK, yeah, so up on the database side, I don't see the people table. But in the local table, we do have it. So it's going to pull that across. I see that it's going to uh, pull that database up. That looks good. Hit OK. 
and uh, it should have pulled my data in for me and uh, close up. And so now I should see that up there. Uh, and if I were to go now uh, back over to my Azure management portal uh, and drill into that SSMA demo database via the manage URL, earn my credentials and log on I drill into design down here, I should see the people table there. So that's there. And I had to be able to go in and make a new query and uh, select star from people and run it. And there's Brett and Michael coming back here for me. So the data made up it, made it up into Azure SQL. Woohoo!